work and energy with open systems. So yesterday we talked about things with closed systems. Today we'll do some things with open systems. Uh, there's that separate sheet that uh, I gave you yesterday that had a spot for notes. We'll have some things today that you can put down in there. So uh, yesterday we talked about closed and isolated systems. If we have a closed and isolated system, then objects cannot enter or leave our system. If it's closed, objects cannot enter or leave our system. Isolated systems mean energy cannot close, uh, enter or leave our system. So um, uh, in Physics 9, we'll talk about these things kind of simultaneously and synonymously. We'll have closed isolated systems where no energy or objects can enter or leave the system. Um, and that's like what we did yesterday with uh, that worksheet. The toy car squished the spring, wasn't moving initially, started moving towards the end. Uh, we had everything in our system. We show the interactions, the things that do not require contact. Gravitational interactions were the dashed lines. The interactions with contact were these solid lines. Um, and when we went through and looked at this with our, oh, it says open system. Oh, that should be closed. Dang it. Um, so closed system, um, hold on a second here, there, uh, closed system example, pardon me, closed and isolated, everything is in our system, nothing is outside of our system, nothing can come into our system and putts with stuff. So if everything is in our system, then all of the stuff that we're talking about will be energies that transfer from one form to another. It starts off with a bunch of elastic energy. And since there was only one energy type present, we said, ah, we'll just make it all elastic. There you go. Uh, and then we say, uh, since it's a closed and isolated system, total energy in the beginning must equal total energy in the end. So this equal sign is put there because it's a closed and isolated system. Um, then in the end, uh, we end with the same total amount of energy that we started with. In the end, at position B, there is kinetic energy and there's gravitational energy. Kinetic energy, because it's moving, it says the speed is greater than zero. Gravitational energy, because there's a height that's not zero. So that's our quick review of a closed system from yesterday. There's a bunch of stuff on that on yesterday's notes. Um, now, when we have an open system, an open system means that something outside the system can interact with the system. Something outside the system can transfer energy to the system. Uh, the, uh, uh, or something from the system can send energy out of the system. And really, the, the, the major difference between open and closed systems is simply our choice. What are we choosing to have in our system or out of our system? So here, uh, this system schema looks similar to the one that we had on the previous screen. The only difference is that on the previous screen, this went straight down and everything was in our system. With this example, I'm saying now with this open system, everything is exactly the same. I'm just going to analyze it as though the spring is outside of the system. Um, I, I'm not, I'm, I know the spring exists. I'm telling you that the spring exists. It's still right there. I'm just analyzing it slightly different. Um, so in this case, the spring that's on that track with the exact same diagram, uh, the spring that's on that track um, would be applying a force. It would be pushing the cart. The spring that would be outside of the system changes the energy of the system. Uh, the spring pushes to the right, the car that's in our system moves to the right. So this should be positive work and it should increase the total energy. Uh, we'll look at an example uh, of this or look at this being worked out a little bit on this next slide here. Okay, so um, on this uh, file here, we're saying uh, everything exists. We're acknowledging it. We're saying that simply that the spring is outside of our system. So when we go down here and we start to look at things, um, on the previous setup, we had a bunch of elastic energy. Now the spring is still compressed. There's still stuff there, but if the spring is outside of our system, then our system does not have any elastic energy. So um, whereas early on, we would say, hey, there is no kinetic on the pre like yesterday with uh, everything in our system, we said there was no kinetic because it's not moving at A for our initial setup. We said there was no gravitational because at A, the height is zero, it's on the ground. Yesterday, we said the spring is squished. 
yesterday the spring was in our system so we said that's all elastic energy and no thermal friction was small enough to ignore now we're still saying that the spring has energy but the spring is outside of our system our system over here doesn't have energy new the spring over here does but it's not in our system so if the spring is not in our system our system doesn't have that energy so to start off right now with the spring being outside of our system there is no energy in our initial case there's no kinetic it's not moving there's no gravitational the height is zero the elastic energy isn't in our system it's outside of our system and there's no thermal energy so when we go to the end when we look at the end on this one um, we still have the same sort of thing as yesterday actually <clears throat> pardon me so when we're looking at the end at b there's a height so yes there's gravitational energy um so i'm going to put this that whoop, dang it i'm going to put this there just to mark that there's gravitational energy uh, at b it's moving that it tells us the speed is greater than zero so i'm going to take this one and mark it over there to say yes there's kinetic energy our spring is outside of our system so there's no elastic energy in our system uh, friction is small enough to ignore so there's no thermal uh, yesterday we went with there being two of each so just for consistency i'm just going to say hey there's uh, still uh, two of each so with this analysis we're still saying uh, we end up with two units of kinetic energy and two units of gravitational energy the spring is outside of our system everything else is everything that gives us kinetic energy is in our system our system has kinetic everything that gives us gravitational energy is in our system our system has gravitational energy so we end up like that and so this is where then um, you might be saying okay I can see where this is four and this is zero and you might wonder what the bejesus we're going to do here right because yesterday we said uh, we put the equals sign in there because everything was in our system it was a closed and isolated system so all the energies that our system had in the beginning equaled the same total amount of energy that our system had at the end and we just put an equal sign in there well today it's definitely not equal zero does not equal four so uh when i go here i'm definitely not going to be putting an equal sign in there because zero does not equal four what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this uh delightful arrow and i'm going to draw it and point it in to our system so this little circle is kind of like our system the stuff that's in our system and we're taking energy and we're adding it to our system and we went from zero we ended up with four so i'm going to add like four blocks there's one there's two i'm going to i need to make my arrow big enough so i can still see it there I'm, my mistake there i at least want to be able to see the pointy part um there's three and there's four so i now have four units of energy that were added to the system by the spring that was outside of our system so uh in this case that uh instance of work being or pardon me i need to clean that up that instance of energy being added to our system is an example of something outside of our system doing work we call that being something outside of our system adding energy we call that work so we would say that this is um, like work done by the spring or done by an elastic object i'm going to go with s for spring uh, because e might make us think earth and in fact on this time first writing it down i'm going to put down the whole blasted word spring So now we have zero, and then we have four units of work done by the spring, and we end up with four units of energy here. If I look at what that looks like for our equation, oops, um, for our equation, we have zero units of energy or zero types of energy initially, 
and then we added work done by the spring and zero initial energy plus work done by the spring, work done by that thing that was outside of our system equals our kinetic energy final. And I've been doing parentheses. Plus our uh, gravitational energy or gravitational potential energy final. So this is still another way to talk about conservation of energy. We're just very clearly trying to state what is in our system and what is out of our system. And then this is an example of positive work. Now we can look at it being positive work in like two ways. Um, uh, so positive work means that, method one, positive work means that we're adding energy to the system. We went from zero to four. Um, we started off with zero energy in our initial case at point A. We ended with four units of energy over here. So there's positive work done to our system, increasing the energy of our system. Another way to check that the work, if the work is positive or if it's negative, is over here when we have this cart, um, the cart, or this, pardon me, the spring is pushing that way and the cart goes that way. Or pushing that way and the cart goes that way. Um, so if the push and the distance traveled are the same, then it's positive work. If the push and the distance traveled are opposite, then it's negative work. So if I have my delightful cup of tea and I, it's, I'm pushing up on my mug and it's not going anywhere, push up and no movement, I'm not doing any work to the mug. I'm not giving it any energy, but if I push up and it goes up, I'm doing positive work. I've increased the gravitational energy of my earth mug system. I'm still pushing up right now, not doing any work. If I push up, but go down, I push up, but go down, I'm doing negative work on the system. I'm removing energy from the mug earth system. But in this example with the cart, the spring is pushing this way, the cart is moving this way, the spring is doing positive work, increasing the energy. So positive work can be, you can, we can tell work is positive by either method one, the energy of the system increases due to the outside object, the spring in this case, method two, the force, the push by this outside object, and the distance the object moved are the same direction.